or 98. Whew, it's going to be hot out there. Well, this week marks the anniversary of the 1943 hurricane. Last night at Lee College in Baytown, residents and survivors of that storm gathered to reminisce and to prepare for future hurricanes. It was World War II. There were two major aviation fuel producers in the Houston area. If the enemy found out that a hurricane affected production of the vital fuel, national security would be threatened. So people living in the Houston area were provided with very little information about the approaching storm. Many went to work that day, only to find out that getting home was impossible. That's what happened to Ernestine Bright and three co-workers from the Umble oil refinery. They had to seek refuge in a nearby home. We got out of the car and we couldn't stand up. And so we had to get on our hands and knees and crawl from the car into the house. The storm center passed over Galveston Bay in such a way that northerly winds ahead of the eye drove the water away from land, emptying the bay and bayous. Rich Skinner was working on a ship that morning. When he tried to evacuate, he found that the ship was sitting on mud. In about two or three hours, there's somebody began to holler all over the ship, hey, everybody's got to go home, there's a storm coming, and it's that and other. So I'm going to have to climb down to get off of that. Well, I had to climb up because the tide had all gone out and the ship was on the bottom there then. At least 19 people died in the 1943 hurricane. After that, weather advisories were never again kept from the public. Thank Incredible. goodness for that, but you know, it may have been necessary for national security. It's mm -hmm. one mm -hmm. of those situations. Great that you got the survivors to oh, tell the story for us all.